Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Do you use virtual copies? Do you even know what a virtual copy in Lightroom is? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about virtual copies to use them in your workflow. As the name implies, a virtual copy is a copy of the image. And the reason why you may want to do this is you may want to edit the image one way and then for comparison purposes maybe edit it a different way. But you don't want to undo the edits from the previous image. So you make a virtual copy of it and then edit that one independently of the first one. And then maybe you have another idea you want to try out. Well, you could create a third virtual copy and edit that one different again, maybe a fourth and so on. So you could create a number of different virtual copies and create all these different edits of the same image. Now for this example, I have this image. I already edited it in color and I want to see what it looks like in black and white. So I'm going to, instead of undoing what I already did, create a virtual copy. To do that, I'm going to go up to photo and then down to create virtual copy. And you'll see down in the film strip, I now have two versions of this image. The first one is the original raw file, and the net one next to it is the virtual copy. And you could tell it's a virtual copy because the little thumbnail in the film strip has a folded up corner that's indicating this is the virtual copy. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned is that word virtual. That word means that we do not have another raw file. Lightroom didn't create a second raw file taking up hard drive scape, uh, space. This is all kept in Lightroom's catalog and as the name implies, it's virtual. So all our edits will be stored in the catalog and we're not taking up any extra hard drive space. Now I mentioned I wanted to see what this image looks like in black and white. So I'll go to the basic tab. We'll make it black and white. Maybe we'll increase contrast a little. So there, now I have the same image in color and in black and white. Now maybe I have another idea. Maybe I want to see what it looks like sepia toned. So I'll create another virtual copy. But this time, instead of going up to that photo menu, I'm just going to right click right on the image and then go down to create virtual copy right here. And we'll create a third virtual copy. And again, you'll see that the folder is, or the corner of the image in the thumbnail in the film strip is folded over. Now it takes your previous edits with it. Now you probably noticed when I did it the first time we took our edits, this time it took our edits, but that's fine. I wanna see what it looks like sepia tone. So I'm gonna to go to the tone curve, go to the blue curve. I'm gonna pull this down towards kind of yellow that way too as well. All right, now I wanna try something else. So I'm gonna create another virtual copy, but this time instead of going up to the photo menu, Instead of right clicking on the image and going to uh, create virtual copy, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. On my Mac, it's command apostrophe. On a PC, it's control apostrophe, or if you prefer, single quote. So I created this um, third virtual copy. It's the fourth version of the image. And this one here, uh, maybe we'll do something. I don't know. Didn't really plan it out that well, but let's do something like this. I'm a little different like that. So we have all these various versions of the image. Four, I have the original raw file that's on the hard drive. Then I have these that are virtual. I have this one that's in black and white. I have this one that's sepia toned. And I have this one that's just confused. It doesn't know what it is. Now, what you could do is uh, you could delete these anytime you want. Uh, the virtual copies. And again, when you delete the virtual copy, you're not going to be deleting the original image. But what I like to do is when I have a number of virtual copies, and I use virtual copies quite often because quite often I want to see a color image in black and white, and I don't want to undo my edits that I just did in color. So I'll create the virtual copy and edit that one in black and white like I did today. But what I often do when I have a number of virtual copies is I stack them. To stack them, click on the first one, 
and hold the shift key down and click on the last one. Then you could right click on any of them, go to stacking, and then group into stack. Now there is a keyboard shortcut for that, but that keyboard shortcut only works when you're in the library module. It is Commander Control G. So you could select all of them, and if you're in the library module, hit Command or Control G, and it will stack them. And you can see we have a stack. To unstack them, if you're in the library module, hit Shift Command G. Otherwise, you could just click on the little number. You see the number four, it's saying there's four images in the stack. Click on it, and we unstacked them. So Virtual copies, I use them a lot, uh, but from teaching Lightroom all these years, I've come to find that barely anyone uses them, and it kind of surprised me. So I think if you start using virtual copies and introduce them to your workflow, I think it would really help you um, find different ways to edit your image that you weren't always doing in the past. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.